Hey, it's Vivi, my favorite. <laughs> he played so well against. Oh no, I just bumped the TV. <laughs> he, yeah, he played so well against Zamba earlier, and moving into the winners' quarters finals, we get a Pokemon showdown on Pokemon uh, Stadium, naturally. Thank you. We in there. In the meantime, Lucario is trying to... He's using my skin, first of all. Ouch. Uh, secondly, uh, he's, he's playing a lot more of his Lucario's game, which is a lot... Which a lot more of is basically like floaty camping, to say the least. He's trying to move around and evade a lot of hitboxes by just staying above and staying... Uh, and using his B-reverse Aura Sphere to pose a threat as an Aura Sphere. And... Uh, and mis use a lot of misdirection when it comes to his his play playing around hitboxes. Meanwhile, Greninja does that same thing, but he's just way faster about it. It's getting under a lot of stuff and uh, and getting past it more often. So this matchup is a, it's pretty interesting to say the least. A lot of movement we'll definitely be seeing coming out from both of these as we see the Beer vs. Orosphere coming off of the stage and the F-Tilt into the... Okay. Perhaps? Perhaps? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Venia taking that first knock, however. You see the down air not getting any connection because of the spot dodge, but that doesn't mean he can't... Uh, okay. Get, getting some damage off of it. Oh, okay. We got a, we got a guy. We got a man coming to sit down. Or it's for your up smash. That's not, that's not a thing anymore, but it works, so that's fine, too. Or it can make people do a lot of crazy... Can, can make people react in a lot of crazy ways. But Venny is holding incredibly, uh, incredibly true to his his own play style. Not letting, not letting Vivi set up the distance that he wants, despite a Lucario's like pretty overall fast airspeed. Mm -hmm. All right, All right. the rising full hop B reverse instead of it going for any sort of short hop reversal there. I'll get to some of the down smash. Wow, right. <laughs> I can res I can respect the hydro pump there because he's trying to throw off the angle and get more of a punish there. It did not work, but I, I see the idea. And yeah, that's uh, all. No, we're not gonna kill you. Good DI, maybe. But over to Hydro just to take back center stage. 150 is definitely a dangerous looking Lucario. <laughs> and yeah. you're dead. Oh my <laughs> god, he killed him at like 52. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's. <laughs> so, that's, that, that's a that's a Max Rage full aura Lucario. For uh, you. It is Max Rage, it's not full aura. He's hitting. Oh, yeah, that's right. Full aura is like, what, 90? 190. 190. 190. Yeah. Uh, at 190, he's hitting about 2.5 times. So, and that, that'll, take, mm. that'll make the kill. The reason that this matchup is a little bit hard for Lucario is while he's not really bothered by uh, Greninja's dash and general low profile and a lot of stuff, since Nair hits super low. Yeah. And you have down air, which is frame four and uh, a down air. Mm -hmm. So, it's, while he's not really bothered by that, he is bothered by the consistent kill confirms that Greninja has and kill setups. Which Agreeable. is a problem when you're trying to stack aura and which is based on percent. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's definitely agreeable there. Using the nair to cross up, but the full hop down or out of shield is, is going to be what gets him out of danger. Oh, he landed on the uh, platform. He, that's, that, that's unfortunate. He didn't want to land on that platform at all. A lot of these dash stacks coming through. Dash stack is so good at catching landings and setting up. Nah, but that'll do it. Venia is so strong when it comes to getting put in advan in his own in his own advantage state. Uh, false, whoever said that in the comments. Lucario is pretty good in this game. He can play without aura. <laughs> Biased, but like whatever. <laughs> nah, yeah, I mean, sure. Good Lucario players don't really have to rely on aura so much to get KOs. They don't have to rely on getting to like 150. Mm -hmm. They're looking to get at like 50 to 60 because they know they can live hits and they're hitting at like 1.3 1.4 which is yeah. still a damage boost but not something not something ridiculous but enough to really get that get that edge and get the sauce that you need to get those kills i agree with that yeah uh, he banned so. yoshi's melee and lila which uh oh he right venia won yeah. makes sense <laughs> They're sending it over to Town and City, and a uh, pretty even game so far. Yeah, Town City's pretty good for Lucario since he, uh, this center platform can sometimes interrupt with uh, Greninja's down tilt up smash uh, if he hits close to it. Because right. I think it's the same height as the Smashville platform. Uh, and the ceiling is super Ooh. tall. Ooh. 
but the side blast zones are super short, so that that sometimes happens. This also gives you a, a lot of space to run around, uh, which is good for any movement-based character, uh, Greninja and Lucario notwithstanding. And how many ways is there a combo into up smash? Yeah, Greninja's got like a good assortment. He's got a really good uh, amount of ways to get the up smash, dash attack, uh, even there, I guess Nair sometimes, like dropping Nair and up, uh, 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 and up smash. Mostly a lot of platform confirms. Yeah. A lot of platform confirms to get into up smash. Just a little bit of shield pressure with a double jab. A nice little parry there. Oh, he went for the he went for the double team, thinking that I assume that Vinny would go for something like down air or something aggressive, like Vinny does. Ooh, that was spicy. That was that was spicy. That was so good. Uh, <laughs> drag down bear into down tilt. Oh, there's so many, so much. This character is crazy. Oh, okay, just good patience there from uh, from Venia. Though Aurasphere is big enough to hit ledge, sometimes the Lucario doesn't do it, and instead B reverses the ledge, in which case the sphere will, won't hit you if you're hanging on ledge in this game. Right. So you can wait it out. Mm -hmm. Or get up attack it, I guess. Right, just going for the dash attack. He's looking for this kill, and that the he may only be at 46, but he's also two stocks down. So yeah, he's not in a good position at all here. Definitely not, though the aura that he gets from being stocks down is a little bit helpful. It is, especially in a situation that when Venya's at sitting at 155. What a parry. Yeah, it was a good parry. Down tilt to up smash. Just keep adding on to the list of confirms that he could get off of it. I know I know Venya did say that Water Shuriken was uh, broken. Oh, okay. oh, that's unfortunate. I respect it. Uh, but he did say that. Uh, yeah, yeah, but and simple. Uh, Venya, let me not there talk. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not down yet. Oh, but no, that's going to do it, though. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> or four, whatever. Just drag down back air. Yeah. And definitely, uh, Venya had some good combos going in there, especially when he took uh, uh, Vivi's second stock. Oh, yes. that was an amazing combo. That was slick. I don't think it would be. The fair wasn't true after it, I don't think. I think it was. Um, I think that's a 50 50. Yeah, it didn't look like it was true at all. Yeah, because you can either you can jump, but jumping against Greninja is super dangerous because he can catch jump, like because his double jump is like wild. Oh um, yeah, no, that's that, that's not easy at all. You think you think landing against Greninja is hard? Just trying just trying to face him in the air is just a challenge. Impossible. Yeah. So uh, then you decided to bet uh, Lilat and Yoshi's, so uh, Vivi's opting to go to PS2 on this one, which is a, a respectable choice. Yeah, he's trying to uh, pick certain bigger stages that give him a lot of, a lot of room to run, and Venia isn't banning Kalos, uh, which is fair uh, that Vivi's not going to it because it's very similar to FD, which yeah. can be a problem, though Kalos is largely considered Lucario's best stage. Yeah, so. not, to, not to mention also that, I mean, both characters could have been utilizing the walls of Kalos. True, very you know? true. Since uh, Lucario can wall cling and uh, Greninja, both of them can wall cling. Lucario having the uh, one of the best wall jumps in the game, but I think Greninja's is slightly better. Yeah, I can agree with that. The beer versus Aura Sphere in order to mix up the the full the full sprint that Vania found himself in. And what I really want, like that seeing from Vivi a little bit more in this game is how he's not just fully charging Aura Sphere, is he's throwing it out even at like small charge or mid charge that way it's there's at least something there that Venia has to think about since Orosphere can still do a decent amount of damage yeah. without full charge it just won't have the same amount of knockback yeah. and that's just unique to Vivi's playstyle any opening that Vivi finds he will find a chance to charge Orosphere and he does it in increments He'll, you know he does it a little bit there a little bit there you know dodge a little bit charge it a little bit more okay the, the e speed traded with the uh, dash attack a little bit more charge, and we get a, a, uh, yeah. si a simple uh, Greninja better button combo down to a two uh, forward air. That might be true, given given how it BB's always it always seems to be true at any percent that you put it on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's hard to say. I don't know Greninja. I don't know full well Greninja things. I do know that some of these uh, these charge storage cancels on BB are pretty good, which uh, it gives the Lucario a lot better space on the ground and a lot more use of his initial dash. Yes, indeed. But it's so hard to it's hard to land a back air in this matchup. Greninja's just so fast. 
Okay. Oh, he caught him a little bit with the with the uh, deep reverse sword spear. I like these mix-ups from Venya. Yeah. Definitely keeping VV on his toes. He needs to know where he has to be next, but Venya's not giving him like any clue of where he's gonna be. Okay. Okay. Now he just went for. Perhaps that was a buffer. Oh my goodness! Didn't mess him up that time. <laughs> We find ourselves in the same situation as game two. Yeah, the, the Venya is definitely just running away with this. One. But he's not running away from Lucario. No, he's he's fighting. Oh no, yeah, he's fighting. But he's making it look easy. It's kind of two ways that you can play the Lucario matchup, which is either you rip. By the way, um, <laughs> you either kill him, you either smother him because his aerial frame it is not the best. Like Nair's frame ten, like yeah. his fastest aerial is down air, mm -hmm. which is a problem because it's like right below him. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're attacking from the side, you're fine. Right. Yeah. Um, so you can either smother Lucario and then kill him early, or you camp him forever and then kill him early and still kill him early. Unfortunately, I would prefer the latter on that one. <laughs> it really depends on the character you play. Like uh, Pikachu can camp Lucario really well, while Greninja smothers him. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Bowser just kind of uh, smothers Lucario, but uh, Ness and Lucas camp him out. Like. Yeah. And unfortunately, someone like me who plays Belmont. Yeah. I have to camp him out. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice. I have to create my wall, or else, or else he gets in on me, and he can juggle me too. To a good amount for Sam. Yeah, Lucario, uh, while, while Lucario's frame data in terms of air might not be super great. Oh, oh nice. That was so good. Nice counter. He fight right here. He didn't counter that entire time. <laughs> just, he was just saving it for when it really mattered. Yeah. Saving it for game three. That's what set play is all about. Like, you don't. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition, and no one expects that counter right there. No 